Hello folks, my name is Melvin and welcome. Glad to see you here, glad to see you doing amazingly well. Welcome to a brand new idea, episode, series, journey, whatever I feel like calling it, don't really know. But um, recently I was trying to find things that reminded me of a comfortable group feeling mindset, you know? Because I do feel like as I've gotten older, my mindset has been a little bit off, a little bit more toxic, uh, just a disgusting feeling about the world, you know? People didn't feel as nice. Um, working isn't as fun money isn't as rewarding um trying to find new people feels like a waste of time like th th i sometimes feel that way and i you know i was i was trying to figure out when did when did that not feel that way when when did it not feel that way and i'm no longer religious i don't follow any specific deity um but for all the negatives of church, there were some positives, you know? I did like seeing people, you know, week after week, you know? Um, it's nice when people try to talk to each other, you know? Even if they have nothing to say, saying good morning, how are you? That's a wonderful feeling to have. Um, you know, everyone having the same thought and the same care for one another and learning how to care for one another. Like when you had those feelings in church, it, that is a good feeling to have, you know, and just reminding yourself like things are going to get better. You know, the, you know, being surrounded by a more optimistic point of view. It's nice. It's a very nice feeling to have. And Mental health has kind of been that one feeling for me. It's 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 kind of brought me back to that feeling, but just from an independent point of view, because I don't do it with other people. It's really just me. And I've tried in the past to talk about mental health and, and things like that, and I've enjoyed that. In fact, it's it grows. Each year it does grow. Even when I don't upload videos about it, even when I stop meditating, it's something I always try to f think about because it has helped me so much. And I want to find a way to share that feeling, that emotion with you guys. Trying to, one, talk about mental health in a certain perspective and two have you guys learn about me because i do like sharing my world with you guys i i enjoy it um and i hope you'll get that feeling as the videos continue to come out in fact there was there was one particular video that kind of helped me realize that more of these types of messages need to come out. So there is this figure named Andrew Tate, and the way he talks about the world has mostly been about man and woman, what a man needs to do and what a woman needs to do. And one day, as I was surfing through TikTok and I saw one of his videos, I just thought to myself, Wait, 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 wait. He's he's talking about man and women, but there's something more important that he's completely missing out on. And that is that we're all human beings, all of us. He was talking about how men don't have the luxury to talk about or think about their emotions because if they do, other men are gonna like climb to the top as if gender is a is a competitive thing 
he talks about it that way because he, you know, he's talking about relationships and things like that. You know, to get to find yourself in a good relationship, you have to be a higher quality man or woman. That's that's how he's he talks about it. But you can't avoid emotions if you're a human being. You're always gonna have emotions. That that's a hill I'm willing to die on. Like you can't escape it. Sure, you can control your emotions, you can suppress your emotions, but you're gonna have emotions, you're gonna have feelings. And it's okay to be competitive, it's okay to want more money. That's totally fine. You do you, you have a prerogative, you know? Part of me wants to have more money, you know? I, I totally understand. But we have to, you're gonna have emotions. Like, how? How are you going to escape that without, you know, like, without repercussions? There's going to be repercussions if you don't think about your emotions. And so then it's like the, the election and it's like, you know, talking about trans people. And it's like they're human beings first, you know? And then like, you know, there's like a city where it's like, it found out that one third of the city was drinking lead water. It's like, they're human beings. And then we see inflation go up. We're human beings. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's like, that is important being a human being is important and we have to share that with one another. I, I get very uncomfortable thinking about the war cause it's like, I don't, I've never lived in a war winning country. I'm very glad to have all my needs met. And then there's people that are dying for doing absolutely nothing. It's not it's not a great feeling to have. So I think mental health and just even the thought of it that's important. You don't have to do therapy if you truly don't want to. I think therapy is super duper important. I think it's a great way to get your emotions out without feeling like you're burdening other people. You don't have to. I recommend it. I also think that there's a lot of simple things we can do in life to make our lives so much better, much calmer. I, you know, because of inflation and things like that, I've been debating getting a second job and putting that money into retirement. Because I'm, a, I keep, my fear is that I'll be working for the rest of my life. But I don't, I don't really want to think that way anymore. I'm kind of sick of working myself to the bone, working super duper hard to make just a little bit more. I'm, I'm kind of sick of it. And I think that, and the, I totally understand this is coming from a privileged point of view, because I, I have a lot of my needs met, but I really want to start making life easier for myself, not making life harder. I want to, I want to find the simplicity of life and just take advantage of it. If I can make these simple things in my life way, way better, way, way more calm, way, way more peaceful, I think, I, I think I can, you know, overcome my struggles. I think ever since I graduated college, I've been struggling with depression. It's never been diagnosed because I don't go to therapy or psychologists or things like that. I have in the past, but you know, I'd really like a second opinion if I had it personally, but I, I've definitely been struggling a lot more after high school. Or no, after college, I'm so sorry. But there were struggles after high school as well, it, you know. 
and I'm 25 now, and I, I keep realizing that one of the hardest things about my life isn't really the things that I'm doing, but the fact that I'm holding in so much pain and I drag it with me towards the next day. It, it is not a good feeling. It truly is not. And I want to remind myself these things. And my goal is to help you with that as well. I've always loved helping other people. I don't see myself as a smart individual. I, I, I see myself making dumb mistakes all the time. Uh, I over talk, I blabber too much. So I don't see myself as perfect, but I can get the simple things right, and I know you can. And it's not even about whether you know it, you know? Because you, you always hear these messages, and you know them they're true. You know that you're supposed to drink a lot of water. You know it's supposed to eat more veggies. You know that. But part of it is that you forget sometimes, you know? You get off of work. Work was stressful. Your saliva starts to starts to multiply and you're like man a cheeseburger sounds good right now mm -mm -mm. let me get that i don't blame you i have those thoughts all the time i recently bought like chicken to like you know make it at home but then i'm like mm -mm -mm. i could i could use some some cheese curds man let me get some cheese curds you know so i'm i get it but sometimes reminding myself that I just need to eat healthy is the motivation that I need to eat healthy, even though I already know that I need to do it. Um, I also, this is also very important to me, but I, I want to be real. When I first started YouTube, I realized at that time, even though I never said it out loud, that it's the one place where I can do whatever I wanted. It, it felt like a playground. I can make whatever story I wanted. I could act like whatever I wanted to be. And I knew it wasn't perfect. I knew it wasn't like the movies. I knew that a lot of people didn't watch it, but it was something I wanted to do. That was a great feeling. When I make YouTube videos, I don't get that same feeling. I always try, but I, I don't. And, you know, life nowadays, you know, I used to be like kind of a perfectionist and kind of a dick towards other people because it's like, I see TikToks and I see Instagram videos and I'm like, oh, I can make something better. I can make something way better than them. And I think that's true because I have more experience making high quality videos. But they're doing what they want to do. They're having fun. They're living the life. And some of them are even getting paid to live a simpler life than me. So I don't know who's the, you know, who's winning in the game of life. I would say them, you know what I mean? So that's, that's all I'm trying to, there's simple goals in this journey that I'm trying to do, but the, it, it takes work, but it also takes a specific mindset as well. It's, it's, it's all about taking it one day at a time. That's really all it is. Today, I made a video. When will I upload it? Maybe not today. Maybe when I come home, instead of making the video, I'll read something. I'll write something. Or play video games. <sighs> Whatever I choose to do is the right answer. I need to feel that what I'm doing is right. I feel like sometimes I make a lot of videos to circumvent my talent that because I don't have as much talent, I need to work harder. But that causes a lot of stress as well. 
do I want to envelop so much stress just to be a little bit better than you, you know? Do I want to do that or do I want to make the most laid back video ever? Be in my, my sweaty gym clothes talking to you guys while this camera's on a chair. That sounds like a way more fun life to me. You know, I was actually debating just recording it on a phone. I don't, all the things I used to care about mean nothing. I, I, there's so many things we need to start letting go. And I want to help you guys with that. So I just gotta, I just gotta take things one step at a time. And I know you guys will help me with that. Worst case scenario, I got myself, you know, so. We'll get through it together with all the, the stress going on. There's not much we can do in this world, but we can remind ourselves that we're human beings. And that comes with a lot of pros and a lot of cons, you know, we just gotta work it out. Thank you so much, folks, all right? Take care.